We want to do a cool intro, we but cool we can never intro. figure one out. What if we go like, what's up, Wolfgang? Or Wolfgang? No, I don't want to. <laughs> Why not? I don't want to raise my voice. I don't want anything where we're like, ah. We're Wolfgang. Like, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Wolfgang. <laughs> no. like, what's up, Wolfgang? I don't like the, yeah. The, the extension. You're, you're doing like the, that's right. That's right. Let it let it be. The no. Lord's using it to deliver people. <clears throat> um, I refuse. I'm not on board with it. All right. What should we do then? What's up, Wolfgang? Yeah? You like that? For now. For now. Just for uh, now? If you guys have any ideas for Are we intro, recording? Yeah. Please, oh. Please leave it dang, in the comments. I have no idea. What's up, bud? Hi. Handsome, are you in the video? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he just stays here like that. That'd be awesome. Okay, friends and family. What do I say that? What's up, friends and family? Our family watches. Hello, friends and family. I'm Kyan. And I'm Kyle. Welcome back. To our the, channel. The Wolf Den. Gang. Den. Den? The Wolf Den. <coughs> What's up, Wolf Gangs? Wolf Gang! <laughs> What's up, Wolfgang? Welcome back. <laughs> I just got a mouthful of dog nose. <laughs> chill, bro. Okay, maybe he's not so chill. No, I think he needs hey, peanut butter. <laughs> lay down, lay down. Well, anyway. So, what are we doing? All of our intros are just horrible, absolutely messy. I don't know. I think... Like, every single one is just rough. Maybe so that's our thing. We need you guys. We need your help. Or maybe that's our thing. It's just to have really rough, messy intros. Maybe it is our thing. Maybe that's our niche. Maybe. Okay. Anyway. Hello, everybody. What's up, fam? What's up, Wolfgang? Wolfgang! No, stop. That's just so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we are excited to do this video. Um, this has been kind of a, another long-awaited video that we've talked about doing and we just never got to. What? We've never told them about this. No, for us, that we've talked oh. about. that. We <laughs> <laughs> okay, hands up. You need to chill. All right. Do we need peanut butter? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right, the dog has the peanut butter. The wife has the questions. The AC has the door. <laughs> we're ready to rock and roll. What are we doing? Right. Tell them what we're doing. We are gonna do the popular video that's been going around called Asking My Husband Questions I've Never Asked Him Before. I'm excited. Me too. I just feel like, you know, I'm gonna crush these questions. I think so too, baby. Let's get into it. Let's All right, let's do it. Let's just get into it. Hit me with the first one. Saddle up and ride out. We'll start with something that, what do you value most about our relationship? Oh, the way you lick your lips. <laughs> Obviously like, you know, being in a relationship where like we're in a, both in a relationship with the Lord, um, like is the first thing that comes to mind, but I'm yeah. trying to kind of like, yeah. that's like the obvious answer. Yeah. But I'm trying to kind of like go past that. Yeah, get a little deeper. Just a little deeper, you know? Um, I don't think anything's deeper than the Lord though. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I would say the, um, I think I love just like the, how we can just hang out all the time and just be like comfortable with each other and have fun. And like, I don't get tired of hanging out with you. Oh, that's because I'm so cool. Because you're amazing, you know, like I do. I enjoy your company. I enjoy yeah. um, just being able to live life with you. And I feel like there are relationships out there where people don't enjoy like time <laughs> with their partner, their spouse yeah. as much or like need like break, like a break from them and all that. And I'm kind of like the opposite where I'm like, I just want more. <laughs> And you're kind of like, I need a break. <laughs> so I'm kind of talking about her. But... <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. I love spending quality time with you. Whether you think it's quality or not. <laughs> For Kyle, quality time is like any time we're in the same room. Yeah. For me, it's like intentional Very specific. conversations and all the things. Okay. You're like, I need quality time. I'm like, babe, what have we been doing? <laughs> Anyway, All right, next question. Next question. What are things that I do that make you feel disappointed in me? <sighs> That's a hard question. 
I think disappoint is a strong word. <laughs> well, you, what? Just tell me. Like, I don't think <laughs> these are things that make me feel disappointed in you. It's more so like, this is something that makes me feel just like sad. Okay. What is it? Yeah. When you feel like really like sad and hard on yourself, when you're really hard on yourself, and like, I'm over here, I'm like, babe, just chill. Like, it's all good. It is what it is. I feel like I'm not really hard on myself, am You I? are in certain things in mo- You have moments of being really hard on yourself. Like, whether it is, um, not so much now with YouTube, but you used to be with YouTube. Really? Yeah. And then, um, just like recently, like you're going through your thing, you know, we, we're tag your video up here, um, of you talking about that, but just struggling a little bit and mm -hmm. then in that feeling like really down and like upset with yourself or disappointed in yourself is when like I feel like just sad and I'm like I want you to be happy and joyful okay I don't think there's anything you've done that like makes me feel disappointed in you okay you know yeah does that make sense yeah that makes sense yeah hoping for a juicy answer but that's a hard question because there's not it's not like i look at you i'm like i'm disappointed <laughs> like you failed all right <clears throat> if there is one thing you could change about me what would it be Ooh, one thing that i could change about you Kind of goes back with the answer I just gave, <laughs> okay. but we're going to go past that. We're going to go past that. I would change that though, that you would just be like, it is what it is and like joyful all the so time. So like basically it. you would change me to be like you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, if I could change one thing about you, what would it be? Dude, I, I don't like these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? Yeah, your questions. <laughs> you would change my questions, really? No. You're perfect, babe. You're perfect. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't change anything. You wouldn't change my moodiness? Well, that's what I was kind of talking about. My PMS? Uh, that's not like the... It's pretty bad, but it's not like the worst. Okay. But yeah, like when you're in, I think that's the only thing that can come to mind. It's like when you're in a place where like you're feeling really down and upset and frustrated and overwhelmed and all of that, that you could just be like, it is what it is. And I mean, same with me, like I'm not perfect at this either, but like it's all good and we're gonna rejoice in this and celebrate in the Lord regardless of how we're feeling and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so okay. probably just that. Okay, okay. That's the only thing that can come to mind. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. What is your least favorite thing that I wear? Mm, that you wear? Clothes. Come on. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Just be naked all the time. All right. All right. Anyway, um, least favorite thing that you wear? Like, is there anything that I wear that you're like... Mm. I don't pay attention to clothes very much. I could tell you what some of my most favorite things that you wear are. So you can't think of anything that I wear where you're like, ugh, that's kind of unattractive. Like, a certain pair of sweatpants. Actually, oh, no, <laughs> there what? is one. What? And you love it. What? <laughs> you love it. What you just it? wear it. It's that like... Baggy t-shirt? That like really like, it kind of looks really bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> really? I've been wearing this like every night. Literally every <laughs> night. And it's like this really like beaten up. It's supposed to be like an like, aged... Really aged. It's supposed to be like your, it's called a boyfriend tee. Yeah, well, I have tees you can wear. Wait, who, what boyfriend gave you this? <laughs> it's like an XXL. Yeah. Or no, it's just I mean, a large. It's, I don't like hate it. It's just like, you know. Okay. Could, not my favorite. Could be better. Could be better. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most important thing for you to keep the romance alive? Ooh. Know you want to know what I could do, do, not what I need, what I can do. What you can, sure, sure. So what do I need to do? What can I do <laughs> to keep the romance alive? Be more intentional with it. Okay. And I think to like, yeah, just being more excited about it too. Not just even like tensional, but excited about it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Where kind it's of like, almost like creating the dating atmosphere. 
Yeah, exactly. Like that pursuit. Of right, like right. Flirting and yeah. cuteness. And it's like, I think sometimes like we forget about date nights and stuff like that because we're not like really excited as we should be about them, right? Mm -hmm. Like for like the days leading up to it or, or wherever where it's like, I was like really excited about it. I'd be like all week, like, oh my gosh, like, yes, this is happening. And I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> you know? And I think yeah. it's very easy to let life get in the way to like miss those moments and like only be excited about it when it comes up and not necessarily like leading up to it. Okay. So I think that's just like, it's more about like intentionality. Like a mindset. A mindset, exactly. Kind of like a dating mentality, you yeah. know? What is your biggest fear when it comes to being a dad? Got hot in here. <laughs> this is more intense than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I was excited. And now You're I'm like, just this frickin'. is gonna be all lighthearted and fun. No, yeah. these are questions I've never asked before. We have different questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, most nervous about being a dad. Yeah. Not like being it. a good one. Okay. Yeah, I think there's just like so much that goes into it that I haven't even let my brain get to. Like, I haven't thought about it intentionally. And I think it scares me to get to that point. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna be a great dad and it's gonna yeah. be awesome. I know you're gonna be an amazing mom, so it's like, I could just kinda like lean on you. No, you're gonna be the, the superhero parent, I think. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> But I think, yeah, the, the thing I'm most scared about is like, you hear people all the time like talk about their parents and at one point I did with my parents and, you know, just like, where like you feel like you're not, you know, they're not there enough or you, you, the love isn't there or whatever it is. And I think it's like very easy to like get in that place of like being content and not being intentional, kind of like what we just talked about. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, just from like my experience, <clears throat> um, you know, my parents did great, but like we had seasons where it felt like, you know, that love wasn't there and like we were like kind of like awkward with love mm -hmm. and being intentional or uh, being um, intimate and all that. Yeah. And it's funny because we've all talked about this and just lately we've really gotten to a place of like realizing that and being more intentional and it's been really cool. Um, but yeah, I think just in general, it's like not uh being there as i should be as a father as a husband yeah it gets it's a little nerve-wracking <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting but it's nerve-wracking for sure but we have time praise <laughs> the lamb we have time like two God's three years right right babe <laughs> dude i need to like <laughs> what is something you wish you knew about me before we got married i knew a lot about you before we got married and i didn't know you very long like something, if like one of my friends told you this about me, that would have like helped you after we got married. With that understanding, then I would say the importance of communication. So you wish like, someone would tell I you. I wish I knew how important like intentional communication is for you. How that was going to be something that I was going to really need to be intentional with, that I need to grow in. Um, in order to kind of fill your love tank. All right, that's good. What was the moment that made you feel most proud to say, I'm her husband? Yeah, I mean, it's YouTube. Really? Yeah, for sure. Like, I watch your videos. Every time I watch your videos, I'm like, yeah, that's my wife. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Like, I just watched your other video, literally earlier. My advice video? Yeah, that was so good. And like, okay, this, this is a moment of like, with the, with the Lord and like you answering these questions. And I love when you're like, I'm just gonna pray and have the Holy Spirit talk because he might be wise, just a little wise, you know? <laughs> but like, dude, come on. It's like when you, when you like put yourself out there and then especially with like the Lord and you're just like, you know what? I just want him to speak and I'm trusting in him and all of that. Like, I love that. But honestly, all your YouTube videos, you know, I've seen every single one. <laughs> And every time I watch it, like your videos, I'm just like, that's my wife, dude. Aww, yeah, it's good so answer. good. See, that's sweet. Mm, you're sweet. Oh, oh do you want to come in too? Kisses for everybody. Kisses Kissing. for everybody. <laughs> All right. Wow.
<laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have to change my shirt. I am. You were in the hot seat. I didn't like this as much as I thought oh, I was really? going to. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. It was just challenging. Yeah, it was nerve wracking actually. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. I think I got anxiety from this video. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Wow. We're gonna do another one <laughs> where Kyle asks me questions. Yes, so and then you get to be in the hot seat. Stay tuned for that. You might have stole a couple of mine. That's okay. Yeah. All but right. With that being said, we love you guys. And Jesus loves, loves you more. more. Is that a thing? Is that what we're doing? I don't know. I mean, know. we've been doing we're the Jesus love anything. you more thing, and that was We're great. not doing anything, okay. apparently. Well, Unless me. the people in the comments can come up with something good. Yeah. Oh, this thing. Dude, it's... stop. I don't know what I got bit by. It hurts. Okay, cut it out. Let me just try to... Maybe there's venom. This is one thing I wish that you would change. Maybe there's venom in my foot. This is one thing I want you to change. Somebody diagnosed... Or no, this is one thing I'm disappointed. Bite. This is one thing I'm disappointed in you for. Picking up. You pick up everything. Everything. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Peace. Bye.